Yeah, I don't be giving no fucks. Huh? I don't know what to call it. I don't, I don't be giving no fuck. I say whatever I want. I do whatever I want. I'm kind of that money for fun. You know, popping these perjure for fun. Ah. Uh. Alrighty, good morning guys. Um, I feel uh, well rested after yesterday's leg day. Um, still a little sick, but on the agenda today, I'm going to uh, run through one of my shoulder workouts and then afterwards I'll talk a little bit about one of the questions that I got like probably 75 to 100 times on my uh, Q and A that I posted to my Instagram, and that is basically, you know, how do I gain weight or how do I bulk? So I'll kind of go into a little bit of detail on what I think about that, um, and uh, yeah, greens, glutamine down, breakfast is cooking, and uh, let's get the day rolling. All right. Breakfast as usual with my favorite podcast before we go to the gym.
I don't be giving no fucks. Uh, I don't know what you call it. I don't, I don't be giving no fuck. I say whatever I want. Yeah, I do whatever I want. I kind of love money for fun. You know, popping these purchase for fun. I know my twist got a gun. Couple my twists on the run. Couple my twists on the run. Couple my twists hit them up. Yeah, cut my twists, sell a bunch. Cause your money got take like it's lunch. <clears throat> All right. So that's right for the workout. Just a little bit of shoulder day, but the uh, post-workout meal as usual, chicken and rice. Um, now, uh, before I eat this, I'm gonna go over the uh, title of the video. So why you can't gain weight. Um, I know a lot of you guys are questioning this. Um, it may be like kind of common sense to some of you guys, you know, for me a little bit, but um, I totally get it though. Like, I mean, I remember when I was like 16, 17 before i got my first meal plan on 18 i was completely clueless on like how to track my food and how like calories and macros worked and everything like that um but um yeah so it's okay if you don't know um i'm gonna try my best to explain it to you guys um you know if, if you're really trying to gain weight and you can't 
because I was once there, like I said, um, there was a point in my life where I was like, I can't gain weight. I told everyone I can't gain weight. I don't know why. I just have a fast metabolism. It's not the case though. You can gain weight. Um, so, um, let's see, where do I even start? Okay. So obviously like the easiest answer, um, to that question is why you can't gain weight is literally all you have to do is eat more. Um, that's as basic as you can get it. All you need to do is eat more. Now, how that happens, uh, the first obvious way to answer that is you have to track your calories, track your macros. Um, so what you want to do is number one, I need you to get two things before we start because you're going to need these. Uh, you'll need a weight scale for your body. So a body weight scale to weigh yourself and then a food scale to weigh your food. Um, now moving on, we're going to need to be in a caloric surplus, right? So you maybe have heard those terms, that term before, you know, like a cal uh, you're in a calorie maintenance or a calorie deficit or a calorie uh, surplus, right? So if you want to gain weight, you got to be in a calorie surplus, right? So, um, now you might be asking like, okay, how do I figure out like how many calories that is? Um, so next step, what I want you to do is I want you to go to the website called T D E E calculator, um, online, just Google it T D E E. Now go to that. You plug in like your height, your weight, um, your age, stuff like that. It'll spit out a number. That's like that. You're like calorie maintenance number is. So maybe that number will be like 2,765 calories, right? So that's your calorie maintenance. So now what I want you to do is you're going to download an app app uh, is called my fitness pal or there's a lot of di there's a few different ones too that it's basically just like a an app that um you can track your calories with or track your macros download this app the one i used my whole life was my fitness pal it's easy user friendly get that app and the the maintenance calories it said for you to eat was 2765 calories um so what you're gonna want to do is every single day for one to two weeks you're going to weigh out your food on that food scale that I told you to get um, for one to two weeks. And every single day, you're gonna try and hit 2,765 calories. And it's imperative that you hit 2,765 calories or right around that for one to two weeks straight. Next, what you're gonna need to do every single day also is weigh yourself in the morning, right after you wake up, before you eat or drink anything, you can go to the bathroom before, um, but right when you wake up, go to the bathroom, step on that scale, write down the weight that you see, um, and then you start your day. You do that. So you have that and you're eating the same amount of calories every single day, the 2,765 calories, right? Now at the end of those one to two weeks, you will either what? You're either going to lose weight on an average, stay the same or gain weight. You're probably going to like stay the same. Um, so if you do, by the way, that the TDE, that's just an estimate of like what your calorie uh, intake would be for maintenance calories. It's not going to be like 100% accurate. It's just estimate. But anyway, you're probably going to stay the same, right? So say you stay the same. That means all you need to do is simply increase calories, right? So instead of eating 2,765 calories um, next week, increase by 200 calories. Eat 2,965 calories. There's your increase. See what happens to your weight. You still stay the same. Okay, it's perfect. That's perfectly fine. Now, can you increase the um, the calories by another 200. So it'd be 3,165 calories. And then, okay, say so you gain weight. Okay, so now you gained weight. That's how you do it. It's as simple as that. Um, you know, watch it back if you got confused. But I, I I may have like skipped over a couple parts. But like, that's just basically as simple as I can break it down for you. Um, tracking food might be a little bit of an issue for some people. I know it was like a little bit confusing for, to me at first, but literally just get your food scale, you weigh out your plate or you weigh out your plate and then you zero it, put whatever food you have on there. And then in the app that I told you to get, you plug in, you know, um, chicken breast uh, or like whatever, a steak or ground beef, put how much you got on there or put how much you ate. So you ate, you know, six ounces of that, plug it in. It'll tell you how many macros, uh, the protein, carbs, fats, and the calories it is. 
And you do all that, like I said, until you eat uh, the same amount every single day for the two weeks. Now, I might do, I can do maybe do another video at some point talking about um, some of the details or the small little details on like food scale weighing um, and some of the issues some people make with that. But that's really as simple as it gets. Um, I wanted to make this, I know, because I, I know a lot of you guys are just younger or maybe just maybe you're older and you just never, you know, uh, found out how or learned how to count calories and stuff. But that's really as simple as that, man. Um, I was going to say there's so there's another way you could also do this. Um, gain weight. Um, now, this approach is for someone that, you know, the whole like counting calories and everything, it can be a little bit much for a lot of people. Like it's it's definitely like a life change. Counting like, I think counting your food, like tracking every, you know, bit of your food is definitely a big like change to your life. It's, it's not the most time consuming thing in the world, but it definitely like, you know, it's going to impact your life for sure. Like it's, you just can't just eat whatever, like, uh, it's a big change, but, um, I do think it's important that at least everyone like understands it and knows. Um, yeah, I mean, I think it's a good thing for like people to just understand how to like how calories and macros work and everything like that. So, um, that's my best advice for that. Oh yeah. Like I said, um, if you want another approach, what you can also do is say you like are really busy. You don't want to do all that shit. So if you eat the same thing every day, what you could do is just simply increase your portion sizes throughout the day. So if you, you know, if you have like two eggs and a piece of bacon or two eggs, two eggs, two pieces of bacon and a bowl of cereal for breakfast every day and then a Chick-fil-A sandwich for lunch and then whatever for dinner, maybe just start by like breakfast, just increase a little bit of your portion size. So have three eggs instead of two eggs and have four, four pieces of bacon instead of two pieces of bacon. And then, you know, have a little bit more cereal or whatever. Um, you can start by doing that for each of your meals, just increase portion sizes a little bit. Um, and you also gain weight doing that, you know, but the only problem with that is like, if you're eating different things every day and then like, it's hard to like actually know um, if you're really increasing your actual like cal caloric um, intake because every food has a different, you know, amount of calories, right? And their macros and calories are all different. So um, it is a little tough, but if you do eat the same thing every day, then it's definitely an approach you could, you know, take and it might be a little bit easier for you. So you don't have to like track your stuff necessarily, just like increase food a little bit. Um, but again, that's not going to be the most accurate way to do things. And it, I'm not going to hundred percent tell you it's going to work because like I said, every food is different and not, not all food is like the same amount of calories. Um, my food's getting cold, so I want to eat this, but um, let me think if I left anything out. It's really it, man. So, like I said, it might be confusing at first. It may be daunting at first to try and, you know, count your calories. Um, but, you know, that is like the the sheer cut way to gain weight. Um, but I think that's basically it. Um, hope that helps anyone, you know. Um, I know everyone always has questions about that, but, um, yeah, I'm like, I said, I'm going to eat this and, um, mm, yeah, young LA code Brinks, mm, flex pro meals, code Brinks, and hope you have a great day and, uh, see you guys soon. Deuces.